the bulk of my field work has been done in Burundi uh, because uh, that's my dedication to, to contribute to the peace process in Burundi in any ways that I can. So one of the conclusions that have, uh, have given me hope and to push forward with uh, the, the work uh, is that uh, people are tired of violence. <laughs> uh, when I, I had no idea uh, and I only learned that through uh, my field work in Burundi. Uh, the people have learned uh, through suffering and, and loss uh, that there is a major gap uh, between the political elite and uh, the masses uh, as far as their ambitions and desires and goals uh, for life. Uh, the people um, and I'm saying the people uh, to distinguish, you know, the Burundian people uh, from the political elite who are ingrained in everlasting power struggles. Uh, the, 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 the people uh, have learned uh, that the elite's political ambitions are not worth uh, their suffering. <laughs> And uh, wha my greatest uh, encouragement is that a statement uh, leading to that conclusion came from a Tutsi person uh, uh, who looked at me as I was asking questions about his experiences with interethnic conflict. And then he paused and then he said, you know, many of us are looking at all these politicians and then wondering and pointing a finger are your political ambitions worth my suffering? And I, I knew uh, Burundi has uh, had shifted uh, in terms of uh, um, consciousness uh, of where the country should be going. And uh, any successful politicians, in my mind, will have to listen to that, uh, to those voices, and, and follow that shift in order to constructively redress uh, the country.